another Saturday morning, another exciting cereal. You know, rebranding, the kind of rebranding that we're seeing these days, is actually nothing new. It's pancake syrup today, it'll be something else tomorrow, and there are plenty of examples of it in our own recent past. I think it's important that we let all these changes just happen. I think it proves to us that we're able to open our minds and adapt to the times that we're living in. Here, listen to this. Did you hear that? Truth, justice, and freedom. They changed it from truth, justice, and the American way. This is 1966. People were protesting the Vietnam War. The American way was not a proud boast in the 60s. It was Squaresville, man. Superman knew that. He adapted. He rebranded. I actually think that truth, justice, and freedom sounds better anyway. It makes Superman's mission seem larger somehow, more universal. I don't say truth, justice, and the A word anymore. It's unlikely that I ever will again. I think all of these changes, the big ones, the small ones, the trivial ones, the important ones, slogans, mascots, flags, monuments, statues, I think we should let them happen. I think we'll get through all of this and emerge into a much better world. I think that these changes are of noble purpose. Well, most of them. There are some where I do doubt their motivation. For example, <clears throat> Does anyone remember that Frosted Flakes used to be called Sugar Frosted Flakes? Corn Pops used to be Sugar Pops? They took the word sugar off the box because parents were becoming reluctant to feed all that sugar to their kids, and rightly so. They didn't take the sugar out of the product, just out of the name of the product. That was sneaky. That was not noble. But. There I was shopping, and I found one of my childhood cereals that still has the confidence to just call itself what it is. Sugar Crisp. I was impressed, until I remembered that Sugar Crisp used to be called Super Sugar Crisp. <laughs> yeah, nice try, Sugar Bear. Anyway, here we are. Sugar Crisp. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it before I even put it in my mouth, actually. What this needs is some super sugar. We're going to put some Frosted Flakes on there. There we go. We're going to put some Captain Crunch on there. Perfect. We're going to put some chocolate peanut butter Cheerios on there. There we go. We've got some... Uh, Fruit Loops for that lovely chemical tang that Fruit Loops give you. We've got some honeycomb on there. Oh, we got some pure Canadian maple syrup we're gonna put on there, you betcha. And don't forget oat milk for health. Oat milk. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh, and don't forget corn pops for garnish, just like I promised myself I would. There we go. Corn pops. <laughs> Do not try this at home. <laughs> it's delicious. I love it. <laughs> spinach mmm oh it's fantastic I don't recommend it but it is fantastic mm. we'll be back next week with another exciting cereal until then peace love granola truth justice freedom and black lives matter